Okay, so I'm posting this video because I was recently asked a very serious and a very simple question at the same time, and I wanted to pose it to you. What would you do if you knew you could not fail? What kind of mind frame would you have? What kind of drive and vision would you have? What would be the scope of your impact as an entrepreneur, as someone with a great business idea, or a venture? I would try to do my best at being a positive role model. I would seek out opportunities to develop community projects and programs. I would want to help inspire other entrepreneurs, other minorities, other black women, other gay and lesbian business owners to step out and try to follow their dream, whatever that dream may be. And right now I feel that I have to be powerful. I have to be impeccable with my word and I have to have a clear vision. Simple things that make up a great leader. Um, recently, myself along with my business partner, Yolanda Rodriguez, we came up across a beautiful location and literally visions of what this place could do, what it could become, just started flooding our, our minds. Within a matter of days, we had a business plan written. With a matter of week, the draft turned into a beautiful business plan that we presented in front of a council, in front of the mayor. We presented it to Rotary Clubs, to Chambers of Commerce, to very important people in our community. And all of them seem to agree and say that this is the step that the community needs to make to have a successful business like the one that we're proposing come into it and add to it. To be a successful business leader, I think that first you have to identify problems. You can't just go into any circumstance or any situation and assume that it's broken and it needs to be fixed because you're only servicing your own needs and not the needs of the community. Um, currently, we found a couple of really good problems that we identified and said that we could fix. One, there is a historic location that is being uh, ravaged by time. It is not being upkeeped at all. There's no one living in it. There's nothing coming out of it. It's a beautiful location on a beautiful lot of property. And no, I'm not going to necessarily say the name of the property because we're in the final stages of, of obtaining the property. But I'll tell you this, it's a mansion. Um, it's over 11,000 square feet. It sits on an acre and a half of land. With that, we broke down different organizations that could run out of it. We want to be the hub that brings other small and medium-sized business organizations into the community that so desperately needs and want young activists, artists, musicians to come into their community and reshape it because it has apparently been been left but, um, you know, we want to run out of this beautiful location, an event center that'll host um, musical talents, that can host business galas, that can host weddings, bar mitzvahs. We as Americans, we have celebrations on a daily basis, but how many of us have had the opportunities to have a celebration be held at a beautiful mansion? I know I haven't. So we definitely see a need. We have the manpower to deliver. We're meeting with investors every week. We're serious about this. Another thing that we wanted to add to this, this location is a wellness spa. Again, we already have, have female practitioners, practitioners who are certified in Kundalini, Reiki, Yoga, Transcendental Meditation, um, to name a few. Uh, of course, Massage Therapy. Um, so we want to offer that to the community. But most importantly, we want to offer a permaculture program and allow people to come in and learn how to grow their own food, be more self-sustainable. Our program is going to be extremely self-sustainable because the food that we'll be providing for our entertainment, our event center, um, will be 
coming out of our own gardens, will be coming out of our own forest that we're going to grow. So what would you do if you had no fear of failure? How would you change your mindset? This is how I challenge myself to think and live on a day-to-day basis. I just graduated from Carla University with my master's degree. I'm a young, hungry entrepreneur, and I know that with your help, My program, our program, will not only gain local recognition, it will gain international recognition with the innovative programs that we're going to be running out of the home, with the environmental factors that we want to help contribute to clean up, and we just want to be a part of a community. Um, What else can I say other than I've sat down with the accountant and we projected a multi-million dollar business within three years. So... Believe in me. Believe in that. If you're interested in any of the words that I said, please read below um, and get in contact with me. But first, I want to thank you for listening to me talk for 6 minutes and 18 seconds. And I hope that I've gained your attention or at least made you question some things. Um, Entrepreneurs build this economy, and I definitely want to offer an opportunity to people in the local community to come in, learn some skills, and work at a wonderful, beautiful location. Thank you very much. I hope to hear from you soon. Hey, be a lighthouse.